हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल टीचिंग लर्निंग विद पूर्णिमा वंस अगैन एंड टूडे वी विल लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट रूल्स रिलेटेड टू प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट टेंस इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर टेंसेस प्रेजेंट इन डेफिनेट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट एंड प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस वी विल लर्न इम्पॉर्टेंट रूल्स रिलेटेड टू दीज टेंसेज वन बाई वन First of all, let me tell you that first form of verb is used for present indefinite tense. Here you have to pay more attention because often students commit mistakes related to verb forms. For example, play, eat, write, and all these. action words the very basic form of these words is called first form of verb and you should know all the forms of verb then only you can use tenses very correctly you should also know singular form as well as plural form of these verbs verb 1 plus s or es becomes singular verb and it is used with singular subject whereas only first form of verb is plural verb and it is used with plural subject let me make it more clear for you singular verb is verb 1 or first form of verb with s or es eats drinks plays writes goes sings it can be all the verbs stands sits writes learns okay all the verbs which have s or es after them they become singular verb you can also remember that s verb is singular verb this is easy to learn and the verb which do not have s eat drink play write do go sing and all the verbs which do not have s or es they are plural verb and they are used with plural subject plural subject i hope everybody knows books tables pencils pens examinations teachers let's see the examples also plural verb first form of main verb singular verb first form of verb with s or es they work very hard for food they is plural many people they mane bahut sare log they work kaam karte hain very hard for food they is plural work is also plural plural subject will take plural verb and plural verb does not have s or es he works hard for good marks he is singular one boy works is also singular s verb i asked you to remember that s verb is singular verb so works is singular he is singular he works hard for good marks i play in the evening here i is singular but i is special case this thing also you should remember that i and you this is exception do i is singular you is also singular but they take plural verb there is no s plural verb okay so you should remember that i and you are exception i is singular you is singular still they take plural verb my friend plays basketball friend is singular plays is singular he frequently goes he is singular goes is singular it doesn't matter how i look here it is singular does is singular so i hope you will remember that s verb is singular verb it is used with singular subject and without s verb is plural verb it is used with plural subjects and i and you are exception very quickly let me tell you how to make sentences negative in present indefinite tense one example is already given do not 
if plural verb is used we have to add helping verb do and if singular verb is used in a sentence in order to make it negative or interrogative we have to use helping verb does because singular verb is s verb do should have es so in order to make it negative sentence we will write does not do not for plural does not for singular let's make this sentence negative we go for walk every day so this is plural verb it should not have s so we will use do we do not go for walk every day so do not for plural verbs we will use do not for singular verbs we will use does not it does not matter how i look he frequently goes for jogging my friend plays basketball let's make it negative my friend which helping verb we will use does because s verb is singular verb my friend does not play basketball similarly he works hard for good marks he does not work hard for good marks now when we have added this s in does we will not use it with work he does not work hard don't write he does not works hard because this s has gone with do ye wala s humne do ke sath use kar liya isliye s ek hi bar aayega do bar nahi aayega he does not work hard for good marks i hope it's clear to you next very important rule related to present indefinite tense that it is used for all the actions which are done in present time not only in present time but also all the actions which are done as daily routine habit your preference your like or dislike the fact about your your job your life quality of something condition of something general as well as universal truth all the sentences which convey all these things and in all those sentences we use present indefinite tense let's see the examples i love to play marbles this is my preference this is my like we pray every morning this is daily routine the sun rises in the east this is universal truth rani sings melodiously this is the quality of rani so all these sentences have present indefinite tense and first form of verb is used for i plural form of verb is used without s for we plural form of verb is used which is also without s sun is singular singular form of verb is used which is s rises rani sings again singular form of verb is used my neighbor my neighbors take my newspaper to read this is the habit of my neighbor and since it is neighbors plural so we have used plural form of verb if this sentence had been my neighbor only singular my neighbor then we have we would have used the verb takes takes my newspaper to read you look very tired again you is an exception you takes always plural verb and this is the condition of you that is why we have used present indefinite tense i study in padaragnal school this is the fact about me and that is why we have used present indefinite tense so we should always remember that present indefinite tense as the name suggest the time of the action is not definite so all these things are taken into present indefinite tense remember the exception that i and you don't take singular verb even though they are singular subject they take plural verb or special verb 
Now let's quickly see important rules related to present continuous tense. It is used for the things which are happening at present time or the time of reporting when we are talking about the thing. At that time if the thing is happening, we use present continuous tense. And what is the verb form of present continuous tense? Let me tell you. Is, am, are, they are helping verb. Along with these helping verbs, we use ing form or present participle form of verb. It means we can add ing after any verb. Play, playing, go, going read reading, write writing and so on. For this present indefinite, present continuous tense, we use is for singular subject. M specifically we use for I and R we use for plural subject and you. So this thing you remember. I is used, M is used for I, is is used for singular subject, R is used for plural subjects and you. Let's see the examples. I am going to my parents house, grandparents house, M helping verb, going main verb, ing form of main verb, we are traveling, V plural, R plural, traveling this weekend, we are learning. We are going to watch a movie in the evening. Are they coming to your party? Are they plural? Plural helping verb. Let's see one singular verb also. He is not coming to my party. He is not coming to my party. So this is singular verb and singular subject. So we have to always pay attention that singular verb is always used with singular subject with some exceptions. In order to make negative sentence we should use not between helping verb and main verb. Helping verb, not and main verb mane ing. ing form of main verb. Let's make it negative. We are going to watch a movie in the evening. We are not. We have to add not in between helping verb and main verb. In order to make it interrogative sentence, we are supposed to place helping verb before subject. Are we going to watch a movie in the evening? And question mark. Everywhere. Again. Are we traveling this weekend? Question mark. I hope you are able to follow. Now let us see how to use present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used when something, some work or some action has been completed at the time of talking or at present. When we are talking of the action, that action is complete. First of all, let us see the verb forms. Helping verbs has or have we use along with third form of verb. So you should know all the forms of verb. Let me give you a few examples like play, played, played. These are first form, second form, third form. Here second form and third form is same but at many places second form and third form are different. For example, go, went, gone, 
right wrote written so you should know all these forms then only you can use tenses correctly let's see the examples he has written a letter to his friend he singular has also singular so you should remember if the subject is singular we should use has he has written a letter to his friend it means when it is being reported about his letter by that time he has already written a letter to his friend he has never eaten these pizzas singular singular i have bought a new laptop i i as i have told you i and you are exception i is singular but they take plural verbs have is plural with i we use plural have bought a new laptop they have just left for chapur they plural have also plural form of helping verb they have just left for jaipur this is third form this is third form of verb i hope you are able to get it similarly we can make negative sentence also only adding not between helping verb and main verb has this is already negative have not or haven't they have not or they haven't and in order to make interrogative sentence simply bring this helping verb before subject has he written a letter to his friend and question mark i hope you are able to get it now quickly move forward for present perfect continuous and this is used for something which is continuous for a period or a duration at present it began little earlier and till now it is continuous for that we use present perfect tense and the verb form for present perfect continuous is have has plus been because after has have we need third form of verb that is why we use been and after this we use ing form of main verb has has have been ing form of verb now let's see the examples she has been sleeping since 3 am she singular has they plural have they have been playing here for 4 hours so you can say this work is continuous since a particular time and this also work has been continuous for some duration and this is the difference between the usage of since and for let me tell you more clearly since is used to denote starting point of time when the action began any work began that point of time if used in a sentence we will use since if total duration of work is mentioned in a sentence we will use for for duration since starting point of time three hours three hours is total duration days years centuries ages ever these all are duration a period of time 3 ghante tak koi kaam ho raha tha 4 din tak koi kaam ho raha tha okay morning morning is a point of time from when the work started 9 am is also a point of time 2018 is also a point of time bc since i was a child since the beginning okay so you just have to see the sentences what the sentence conveys accordingly we use 
since or for let's see more examples they have been staying in this house for 20 years now 20 years is total duration just to highlight just to highlight long duration of some work we use this present perfect continuous tense my father hasn't been keeping well for weeks this is also duration weeks it's a duration of few days so that is why we have used for years is also duration we have used for he has been living in bombay since he got married when he got married this is a specific point of time you know the date of his marriage jis din unki shaadi hui us din se ab tak ki baat ho rahi hai so this is a point of time that is why we have used since i have been watching this show every week since it started starting starting of the show is again a point of time so we have used since we can easily change also they have been staying in this house for 20 years now this is 2023 so we can change this sentence they have been staying in this house since 2003 they have been staying in this house for 2000 for 20 years they have been staying in this house since 2003 i hope it is clear to you